Hey guys, this is Kevin. Today we're going to talk about how the HP Printhead self-cleaning works. Printhead cleaning is pretty important for the printer. If it malfunctions, I hope you will have the ability to troubleshoot it. And uh, so this is just basic uh, what each part is and how it works. If you need a set to play with, you can go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, go to uh, printer parts, scroll down HP and uh, with ink. We only have used ones, we don't have new ones. First, let's talk about uh, this thing go back and forth and up and down. Uh, this ladder is attached to a gear. So when the gear turns, uh, this platform can go back and forth. Uh, when it go back and forth, it cleans the printhead with this uh, rubber blade. Uh, so if you have a dried ink on the bottom of the printhead, this thing can remove the dried, uh, dried inks. And the second function is uh, they, this part can raise up and uh, attach the bottom of the printhead. And so you can use a vacuum to suck ink out of the bottom. You may wonder, uh, you get two vacuum chambers, and but why you have four tubes? Let me draw a diagram show you how it works. So here's the part that we just talked about. Oh, forgot to mention, if you need uh, this uh, this diagram, uh, you can text HP waste one word to this number, and uh, I will uh, I will text you back a link that you can download this picture. You have four holes and uh, two in the middle that's lower. So that's where the waste ink gets sucked out. Uh, on the left side is the color ink, the CMY. And uh, on the right hand is the black ink. So for black ink, I use the black as color. I got colored black, so it's easier for you to see. After the ink gets sucked out, it goes to this uh, peristaltic pump. Peristaltic pump is widely used in the printing industry. If you look inside, there's no, no much there. And there's only a tube and there, there's, a, there's a roller. So basically what you do is uh, you turn the motor on and the roller gonna rotate and massage this tube. And when this tube gets massaged, the ink gets squeezed out. Uh, the advantage is the, the mechanical part never touch the ink. And the ink always flow in a tube. This is different from centrifuge pump and dif different from uh, uh, different from diaphragm pump. And uh, below the peristaltic pump is the motor part. This disc has a little tiny marks on them. So when it rotates, it goes through this optical sensor that can measure the rotation speed of the pump. So you got two tubes come in, two tubes come out. And uh, it, the HP was a white tube for the color with ink and use the black, the black tube for the, for the black ink. And the, the ink get dumped out for, to this little box. And uh, the white tube, which is the color ink, get dumped into the front, the front section. And uh, the black ink is downloaded to the lower section of the box. Okay, now you understand the bottom part, the top part, and uh, the side part, and uh, why the side box got the two sections. But uh, what is this thingy? There are actually air tubes. It controls whether the the HP want to suck suck ink from the left or right of the chamber. For example, if HP want to suck uh, ink from the left side. It's going to open the air hole on the right side, so the right side doesn't have any, any suctions. And the two air tubes are connected to this selection lever. The selection lever is pushed by the printhead assembly, and uh, each time only one uh, tube is open, so you always clean like one side of your printhead. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if one of you know the, how the Epson uh, with ink assembly works. Epson designed a much more complex uh, assembly. However, um, 
because of the complexity, a I think the faulty rate is higher than HP.